Hi, it's Caroline. I hope you share this make. It's an Anna Griffin teacup card that pops up. Sure to be a keeper. Okay, let's get started. This teacup goes together so quickly. I actually made four at one time and have already put one card in the mail to my sister for her birthday. Now today I've already cut out the pieces using her, well, Anna's uh, teacup cardstock. Beautiful both sides and such good quality. You'll need two pieces for the handle if you want the same design, both front and back. And then this is the insert, which you'll need two pieces for. So you'll also need some really strong paper tape. I have two sizes, some skinny and some about half inch, some liquid glue, and then this is my secret weapon. It's clear tape, and it secures those tabs so nothing falls apart, and you're the only one that sees it. So I'm going to start by folding those that teacup at the score lines. Everything goes together very easily. The tabs are very self-explanatory. I put some sweet music on and get busy. Now I put the handle on before I attach the cup to the plate. It's easier for my fingers to fit in that cup and get all the taping down. It just works best for me. Be sure to check out my video on how to keep all these instruction sheets organized. It's not too long, but I think you'll like it and find it very useful. Make sure you bend and fold that plate before you uh, attach the cup. Speaking from experience, again, it is just simpler when you go to attach it into the, into the card, the card base. Also make sure that you give a gentle tug to those tabs before you tape them down. That way you're not leaving any gaps where they are supposed to attach. Okay, here it comes again, the clear tape. No one will see it but you.
Okay, so I've picked out one of her card bases from her springtime card sets and a very simple embellishment for the top. Like Anna said, the main attraction is on the inside when you're making a pop-up card. Just attach a little bow there. Perfect. Leave it alone. Okay, so I'm going to attach all the Flourish and Flowers, and I've even included a blooper. Yes, I didn't even take it out of this video. We'll have to reset that Flourish because it, it is just too big. I have to set it, reset it down into the teacup again. But things happen. We've all made bloopers when we are making our cards at some point or the other. And nothing we can't fix. Oh, I did pre-cut some greenery that I'm going to use in this card. Um, I just keep a stash of it and it really helps as a beautiful filler. Make sure you have that handle on the correct side that you want when that card is opened. That's what I'm talking about. When everything's finished, I do go through any little gaps and put adhesive, liquid adhesive glue just to give more secure attachment to all the pieces. Dries clear. Yeah, um, that's me reattaching that gold flourish there. No worries. At the end of this video, check out the other cards that I made. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm telling you, we're going to have lots of fun. And these are some finished pieces. Thank you. Catch you next time.